Hey everyone, Paul ISM. Welcome to the Inbox Review. Today we've got a kit I've been waiting for for quite some time. New, new B-Max Platts, whatever you want to call them, have finally released the Audi Quattro S1. They released the S1 E2 a few years back, which I reviewed and built. Uh, no video build, sadly, but there's a review of it on the channel. But I've always preferred this version, the non-wide arch, I kind of call it version of the kit i always thought it was a prettier looking car and it was basically what the homologation road car was so i've been waiting for this for a long time because the only other kit that was available for this was a let me think it was a scale production ready model somebody made a resin kit for it and i had it quite a while it might have been profile 24 actually and there's a review of them on the channel as well for me enough and it looked okay but it always looked a little bit ropey in places so as soon as b max new new plats and now to releasing this kit, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And it finally came in stock at UMP, Ultimate Retail Product, Ultimate Modern Product, sorry. Um, and I got my hands on one along with the detail upset. So we're going to have a look through the box, a look through the detail upset, and see what's what. Now, bear in mind, this kit's not going to be perfect. There's going to be people out there going to nick pit every single part of it that the wheels are wrong. The wing mirrors are the wrong diameter, the, the screen's the wrong thickness of glass. It's going to be everything. I'm not all that bothered. As long as it looks roughly like it's supposed to, I'm happy. So if you want to go out there and make sure you get all your wheels the right colours and the shapes and the tyre valves the right length, I've got no problem there at all. But please don't criticise my review because of that, because it really doesn't bother me. Anyway, less than negatives, let's move on with the review. Hey everyone, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell notifications, get notified of our latest videos, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and leave a comment. I do read and appreciate every comment you guys and girls leave behind. I may not reply to them all, but they are all appreciated. And there's a link in the description of the video that takes you to a big long list of all handy videos and a lot of the products I use in my videos. You now have the chance to support the video content creation by using Patreon or the PayPal me link in the description down below. All the videos will always remain free to watch. This is just your chance to help support the videos. Right then, as I said in my intro, this is one kit I've eagerly anticipated its release for a long, long time. Um, so, <laughs> very happy to get this. Let's just rock through my door about an hour ago. And uh, this is going to be my next video build, as I've said now about 20 times. So let's have a look through the box that we get. Lovely box art on the front. This will definitely going on my ceiling. Not my favourite scheme. I prefer the yellow scheme. I forget, my, I forget the name. I'm full of cold. My head's not with it. So excuse me. But I like the yellow scheme. That's the iconic scheme for me. But this scheme, again, beautiful Audi. Uh, was this a factory scheme? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. You tell me. Let's do that again, because that was terrible. So, as I said several times now, eagerly anticipated kit for myself. I love this car. This brings back memories of being a kid, watching these Group B monsters scream through the forests and stages and what have you. And although this isn't my favourite scheme, I know there's another one out. We'll be doing the box scheme for now. We'll do the other scheme when it's released um, publicly in the UK. We'll probably do a road-going homologation car as well, like I've done with a lot of my builds. But... Great box art, and that picture is certainly going up on my ceiling, because yes, I don't put pictures on my wall, I have no room, they go on my ceiling. So I've got some pictures of the finished kit on the side. Again, very nice, we've got some writing there, which I can't read, and then the colours on the side in Mr. Hobby Mr. Colour, and Mr. Hobby Aqueous as well. So, we've got the kit, we've got the detail of set as well, we'll have a look through both. Uh, bear with me, I am full of cold, so if you get any coughings or splutterings, I do apologise. So, we've got the body shell, we've got the wheels, we've got the clear parts. We've got three sprues in there, including separate bumpers. A sprue for all the uh, underpan tray, the seats, drivetrain, grills, what have you. Tyres, which are slicks in there. And then our cockpit tub, door cards, dashboard exhaust, brakes, etc, etc, all the way through, including our chassis as well. We've got a decal sheet and our instructions as well. So let's have a little look. We'll start with the body shell, one of the most important pieces. I'm going to plunk everything at the back over here. There may be some rustlings, so I do 
apologize if there is, but well, you know. There we go. So, beautiful short wheelbase Audi Quattro. Very, very cool. We've got some seam lines still with on the roof. If I remember right, the other Audi, uh, the S2, I think it was, had some pretty horrific seam lines to deal with. But this one doesn't look too bad. Crisply moulded, typical new new B Max, whatever you want to call them. All looks pretty good. Tiny little car. This thing is as light as a feather. Not a lot of plastic there, but it certainly looks the right shape to me. Love this car. One criticism is that isn't open. It's going to be cut open. Doesn't look like it can, but we'll have a look at that later. But body shell, other than the seam lines, which are going to be. Not tricky, but you have to be careful in places where the roof step is just there. On clean enough to make sure that's all right. The rest of it looks pretty straightforward. You've got molded in uh, bonnet pins, which if you've got the detail upset like I have, they'll need to be removed. But overall, it looks pretty crisp and pretty straightforward. No issues there. Now, there's going to be people out there going to be like, that's all wrong. It's a millimeter too wrong in its door handle or the wheel arch uh, obelisk uh, angle flange isn't the right wig or some of the random stuff like that. I don't care really don't. I don't want to see critiques in the comments if you're not happy with the kit that's fine for me this will look like an Audi S1 I'll be happy with the build because I'm not that in to all the finer detail like that it'll look good to me I'm happy so that's how we've got the window support there the screens go on the outside from the new new BMX kit, so we can leave that in when we get it all polished up. But overall, don't think that body is going to give us any real issues. Now, we'll go with the bigger sprue. Do we need to cut these bags? No, we don't. They're the self sealing ones. No Tamiya staples to complain about here. You know, I like to complain about those. Like I say, I do apologize about the rustlings, but it's a necessary evil. So, we've got the chassis, typical chassis, no interior detail because it's all in the cockpit tub underneath got a bit of detail there but nothing really fantabulous cockpit's pretty sparse as i guess it would be on the real rally car you could add all sorts of this wiring anything and everything to it what we'll add i don't know yet we'll play that beer when we get to it dashboard i've got some pretty decent detail here let me zoom in a touch for you pretty decent detail there steering wheel looks pretty good as well, we've got some ducting, we've got our door cards there as well. Uh, like I say, not a huge amount of detail on the actual cockpit tub itself. We've got some foot plates there and a footrest on the other side as well. Assumes a footrest anyway. We've got our discs, which are pretty detailed to be fair. Plastic part and the suspension, again, looks nice and crisply molded. Really nice. You have your typical scene to deal with in there, but that's no issue. Exhaust tailpipe, which needs drilling out, which won't take two minutes to do. Top of the dashboard, the exhaust system itself, nice beefy exhaust on this thing. Subframe, subframe, steering column, uh, and a few other parts there as well. Fire extinguisher, window wipers, so on and so forth. We're bound to get... Yes, we got P window wipers in the kit. Yay, we look forward to doing those, won't we? <laughs> uh, but yeah, no problems there at all. Crispy molded in black. Pretty cool. There's a little bit of flash here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. I just there, uh, if you can see that, but it shouldn't be there, but it is. And uh, now it's gone. So it's not that difficult to deal with. But it is a shame when you see flash on kits of this higher quality. When it shouldn't really be there, if we're honest with each other. But it is. It's not the end of the world. It's easily cleaned up. So that's the most of the uh, chassis running gear parts. We then have our skid plate, skid pan, whatever you want to call it, underneath, under tray. Is there. The seats are there. They look all right. I don't think they're anything to really... Right home about what the real seats might be a bit more supportive and hugging than that. I don't know. We'd have to look into that. But some more ducting. We've got the four-wheel drive system there as well. Steering rack. Uh, is that another exhaust pipe of some sort? Something. The sequential shifter. Audi grill. Another grill. Grill radiator intercooler. Whatever it is. Another skid plate. I'm going to guess that they... 
Are they fog light covers? Spotlight covers? Can we put a spotlight pod on this? That'd be cool if we can. Can we? Can we do that? Please give us the option. Ooh. Where are they? Where do they go? Are they wing mirrors? Oh. They're not going to give us a nice stage pod. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look like they do. But I'm pretty sure they're the covers for it, unless I'm being absolutely crazy here. We'll have a good look through the instructions in a bit, but nothing to write home about here. The details there, nice and crisp. A little bit of flash here and there again. Overall, though, looks pretty decent. Nice, simple kit by the look of it. Don't think it's going to be too tax never build, as long as everything fits together. It is still under the B-Max name, even though I think it's labelled Nunu. I think it's just over the manufacturer who actually makes the kits for them. But yeah, it looks all right. Typical Audi rings on the front grille. They look good. No problems there. We've got a little sprue here that looks to have the roll cage in it from bumper. Wheel. Z. So we've got a fair, spare five spoke rim. And a spare one of the rims that go with the kit. Yeah, look, see. We do get the spotlight pods. Oh, they're going on, that's for sure. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, clear parts. Now, this is the parts from the S2. I think it's the S2. So the screen's the same. They're also included the whole sprue because they're the um, aerodynamic fins that go up the side at the front. So the good news is I've got a spare mass set for one of these. So that'll fit this. Thank you. So, yeah, no problem there. I don't remember any problems with the glass fitting on the Audi. So that shouldn't cause any issues. But let's go have a look at that in a second. So anyway, roll cage, accelerator, pedal box, etc. Brakes, roll cage is a really overscale aerial. There, I thought we were using that one on tenor because it'll send and receive. Like I said, we've got a spare wheel there. Take that off the old kit. And we've got a spare wheel for the new. We've got our front bumper, some more grills. We've got our rear spoiler. So basically, by the look of it, they've added sprues to the existing kit that they already made. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me have a quick drink. Kids, kids bringing cold home. Terrible. At least it is just a cold, thankfully. We've got our wing mirrors there, various parts and stuff in there. Not quite sure what they are. Good door handles by the look of it. Again, all crisply moulded. No issues there whatsoever. Everything that looks really good. Yeah, like I said, there's a few wisps. A flash here and there, but I don't intend to really be concerned about. It's easily dealt with. It's not like there's a whole sprue covered in it. It's just a little wisp. It's a chrome part in the wheels. So the wheels are the same as a spare. Again, a bit of detail on. They're probably wrong. Some companies out there are probably screaming and going, they're wrong. They're not the right offset. The, the wrong plastic. Yeah, look all right to me. Not the most interesting of break uh, of wheels. Chrome parts look pretty decent. Light lenses, uh, headlights, so on and so forth. Spotlight covers. Whether we'll put them on, I don't know. I'm sure we could do it so we could take them on and off. We'll have a look at that one. We'll see. So the chrome parts look good. No issues there. So yeah, that's all the actual styrene itself bar the clear parts like i said i built the other version this kit i think it's the s2 the, uh, the wide arch or the wide body kit version get this bag open rather lucky eh? it's just opened that up fully so you can go see the other review on the channel did it ages ago and built it a long time ago and look got a load of grief because i put a wrong decal in the wrong place so clear parts yeah, there's no problem with those. Whilst they're not the most optically clear, they're clear. There's no room. There's a few smudges on them. But I don't think they're going to give any issues as such. Quite clear. So you've got your front rear glass and side. These are all from the outside. So you've got a careful clean up on these. And then we've got our spotlight covers, our headlight covers, tail lights, and uh, front indicators. I'm taking it, they are. So yeah, no problems at all on the clear parts. And all nice and simple and easy tires 
We're in here with some poly caps and some of the mesh material for the grills, which we won't need. So we'll grab one tire and the mesh. We've got our poly caps in there as well, five of them. You can see just there. Now I zoom in a touch. So you got your typical mesh material for the grills, which looks all right when it's in, but we'll be using the PE because it'll look a lot, lot better. And then the tires, they are slicks. Are they supposed to be slicks? Can't quite see. Probably not. It's probably supposed to have tread on it. I'll have a look. But a little bit of rubber flash inside, but I'll be gone and a seam to deal with in the middle. But again, just standard modeling techniques on that one. Shouldn't prove taxing for anybody of sufficient skill. Decals and instructions. Then we'll have a look at the detail upset. Now, like I said, I have reviewed this before. So there's going to be a lot of parts on this that are going to be very similar in that other kit. So the instructions, the build is probably going to be very similar. Um, I think there's only a few parts on the body shell that are more likely going to be different and the wheels and things like that. There's probably experts out there screaming at the screen. They're going, no, you're wrong. This is different. Decals, B-Max and the decals have always been pretty good. I can't see any issue there with those. They're nicely in register, nicely coloured, nice satin finish to them. <coughs> so they shouldn't cause any issues. And then the Audi markings themselves. Got a bit of marking on the decal itself from like the cornstarch material stuff they use on them. But that should improve any issue at all. Never had a real issue with the new new B-Max decals. They've always gone down really well. Do take a bit of stick as well, it will uh, conform quite well. And then we've got um, the Audi rings in there, and what I'm guessing are metallic decals for the wing mirrors as well. So, a nice little touch. And again, of course, you get the surround to the windows, but as I say, I've got a mask set to so we'll mask them because I think it looks better, in my opinion. Let's just pop these back in here before they get damaged. There's always a a fun trick to do because everything gets stuck to the bag. Okay, let's pop that back in the bag. We'll do that later. So, instructions. We've got a bit of info on the car there. If you want to read it, you can pause and have a little read. Just info on the cars themselves. Should be riding came to a sad demise, unfortunately. But, hey, one of those things. We've got colour call-outs, how to assembly. Whoa. How to apply decals. And then basic um, building of the kit. So we're starting off with the chassis, suspension, exhaust system, which all attaches to the actual four-wheel drive system. Um, okay. And then the subframes, skid plates, whatever you want to call these, under guards, etc. And then brake disc. It's going to give us options to take it for our aftermarket set. It normally gives you a little key. Hmm. Doesn't seem to do it in here. Anyway, look at the aftermarket set in a second. Um, so yeah, getting the brakes on, wheels on, roll cage assembly, uh, decals and the fire extinguishers, colour callouts and all the pedal box, the sequential shifter, getting our seats in, the seat belts themselves. So yeah, it used to give you like another separate thing here to say if you want to use the PE, here is the time to do it. And it doesn't actually do it anymore. Building the dashboard up. Dashboard in, roll cage in, air vent in place, spare wheel in the back. Again, you'll have some uh, material in there to make a harness for that. And then mesh, cutting the mesh with a real scale diagram there to help you cut it to size. Where they go and any glue in. So this is if you're going to build it out of the box. Front grille, front bumper, how to mask the side windows, and the front and rear screen. And then attaching them to the body itself. And then getting our wing mirrors on, door handles, uh, window wipers, a spoiler, and the uh, is it an intercooler on the back. I can never remember what it is. Is it an intercooler? Radiator? Can't remember now. Completely forgot. On the back, and then painting our rear lights as well. Like I say, I'm not an expert on these cars. I enjoy building them. Appreciate what they are. You put me in a part half the time, and I have no clue what it is. So, yeah. I'm going to guess that at the front is a radiator. Down at the back is an intercooler. That is my guess. Twin intercoolers, maybe. Single rad. Probably wrong. Don't know. Decals. 
Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, iconic scheme, as always, with any of these Audi markings. Tamiya does the standard wheelbase, long wheelbase version in this kind of library as well. For me, nothing is as sexy as a short wheelbase car. And if you've got a homologation road car, it's a very expensive and rare car now. And uh, very, very cool. And of course, we've got all our sprue layouts. So you can go through and make sure you've got all your kit and your decals. And don't use the parts in the shade. Oh, I just want you to use the the pods. Ooh, okay, we'll have to look at that one, can't we? So there's a few parts we're not going to use and a few extra parts that we will. Right then, detailed upset. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. No, no, I've stopped it. There we go. So this is a separate part sold by Nunu BMX themselves. <coughs> so in there we get a P set. Um, is that for the air, air valve? Can't remember. Oh, I can't see. And some ribbon for the seat belts, which in my opinion is too thin. I think you need three mil on these kits, and I can find. Have we got to take the top? Ah, oh, you got to take that off to get to it. It's a shame, isn't it? Ruining it. Thanks a lot. Ruin the whole review now. There we go. If we get all this out, let's get all the bits out. Pop that to one side. Let's have a look. So that's a heavy sheet of PE, I'll give it that. Right then, so in here, we got separate instructions for all the photo etch. Again, paint required. Replace, got your replacement part numbers just there, what to do with it. Again, replacing discs, uh, things like that for the discs. Applying PE over PE, applying straps to fire extinguisher, making your harnesses. You only use the two mil belts, fine i think it's too thin personally i think three mil is the right size and then we've got grills as well which i think you need to cut out by the look of it we'll play that one by ear let's have a look no you don't they're already hollow so that's fine then on the back cutting off the window mounts because there's pe parts to stick on front grill um Something on the side windows, can't quite make out what that is. 8 and 15. Hmm. Don't know. But P for what I guess is our intercooler. I might be wrong. Cutting off the bonnet pins as well to make them out of P, which is worth doing because they do look better. Photo etch window wipers, while I moan about them, they do look a lot better. I've got to admit, they do look better. Uh, but I still hate doing them. They're a pain in the backside. License plate, number plate. And then some mud flaps um, on the arches as well. So, as always, it looks to be a pretty worthwhile PE set. It looks to be decent quality PE. I love the grills. The quality of the grills on these PE sets is lovely. We've got a combination of squarish, round PE. It's a honeycomb, which looks really good. Uh, all the bonnet pins look good. I'm just trying to see which is the best way around to look. Uh, harnesses look good, so if you want to use the 2 mil, it'll be just fine. Same for the top, you've got all the harness wear, some um, straps for the fire extinguisher, window wipers, bonnet pins, nice big grill there. Right way through to our mud flaps, some other bits of detail there. So it's a curbside fit kit, unfortunately, which seems to be part of the course with a lot of these. Um, I'm not bothered about that. I mean, it'd be nice to get the engine, don't get me wrong. And I'm sure at some point somebody will bring out an aftermarket engine. But it is what it is at the end of the day. And then we've got this part here, which it's either an antenna on the roof, which there is no, or it's the air valve. It's a connector valve for the air, just the, the air jack, I thought it was. So you get a little one of these. There as well, and then we get some 2 mil ribbon for the belt, which if you want to use it, by all means go for it. And I'm going to assume it gives us a strap for the spare tyre. Because <coughs> if not, I'll be making one with the spare bits of P we've got on there. So P set looks like it's a worthy addition to the kit. Um, I'm sure it'll build out the box just absolutely fine. But like I said, I've been waiting for this kit for a while. And I will hopefully end up building three of these in the long run. That is certainly the plan anyway. Um, 
trying to battle to get this near, I talk to you. But yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks a good kit. It really does. But what we'll do is we'll go back to me and have a little chat and final thoughts. Okay, then, there we go. So what do I think? It looks a good kit. Bar a little bit of flash here and there. It looks to be well detailed. Hopefully it'll go together okay. Decals look good. The clear parts look good. And if it goes together like the previous Audi, I don't think we'll have any dramas at all. Um, the detail upset, I think it's a worthy addition. Whether you use all of it is your decision. Um, but for me, I think it's a worthy addition to add some detail here and there that is missing out of the kit. Be it just the brake discs and the grills and the mud flaps, things like that. I think it is a worthy addition to the kit. So this is going to be my next build. So I'm hoping to start this tomorrow. So hopefully you'll see the first part of this after the weekend, maybe, hopefully. Uh, and like I said, I've been waiting for this kit for a long, long time. So very happy to see it. I'm very happy to start building it as well. So you've got the kit. What do you think of it? Like I said, I don't want to hear all oh, the tyre valves are too short. What do you think of the actual kit? The moulding and things like that does it look okay. They're not the cheapest kits to buy, but they are quite niche subjects. They're a bit like bell kits, but I think they're better quality than bell kits myself. Um, with the detail upset, you get a lot of extras in there as well. Like I say, not the cheapest of kits, not for everybody, but for a subject like this where I've got a bit of passion for it, for me, it's money well spent. So like I say, stay tuned. It's going to be the next build on the bench. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that quick review. I don't want to hang around. I've already reviewed the kit, really. There's nothing much different, really, on the underside of this compared to the E2. I don't think, anyway. Um, so I wanted to get through it quite quick. There we go. As always, leave any comments, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. I read and appreciate all your comments. Love reading them. They really spur me on. Sadly, I don't have time to answer them all because it takes up so many hours in a day doing it. But I do give everyone a heart. And if you ask a question, I try my very best to answer you. You can help support the channel by using my Patreon, which is linked in the description down below. And my PayPal me link as well. And without my patrons, there would be no more videos on this channel it's quite as simple as that so thank you everybody that's become a patreon or donated so far you're all absolute legends you can check out uh umpretail.com where we currently have one of these left in stock how long that's going to be i don't know because i can't see anywhere else in the uk that's showing stock at the minute for this so if you want it grab it while you can uh, and of course check out ump for a lot of the products as well in there Check out Inside Scale Model Facebook page and forum, my Paul ISM Facebook page for my personal modeling work. I'll have the bench page and the off-air hangout group. And there we go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.